you. Yeah, you. How you doing? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby, and if you're joining me, welcome back to Bay Area Crypt. Whew, it is very hot inside the room I am filming. Why do I look like a crazy person right now, you may be asking. Why am I wearing these ears? What's up with this atmospheric lighting? Well, to answer all those questions, and actually maybe only some of those questions, I'll tell you. Today, I'm gonna be doing a makeup look. What kind of look? You know, I was kind of thinking about it, but I don't really know for sure. So I think what I'm gonna go for is a pink, purple, and blue look and see what I come up with. Anyways, I don't know what it looks like, so let's go ahead and get started. Just a heads up, I am very awkward on camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch to me narrating while I do my makeup because if I actually try to narrate it, it's gonna go terrible. Anyways, without further ado, if you wanna see this look I come up with, go ahead and keep watching. Yeah. Starting off with my e.l.f. hydrating face primer, I'm grabbing it and just putting it all over my face for that flawless base. Then going in with the P. Louise concealer and my Sephora Pro Flawless Airbrush in 56 just going ahead and putting that all over my face and I'm using my beauty blender to just go ahead and just go ahead and blend everything seamlessly so it looks nice and I'm kind of using this as base since I don't really use foundation anymore so then I take my Makeup Forever powder, translucent, and my fluffy brush and I just kind of dust it all over. And it looks good, but I look a little white cast right here, but not to worry. We're going in with a Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and my Urban Decay Bronzing Brush. I'm just going to go ahead and place that all over to give my face a little bit of color. Then using my Tarte Boot. Amazonian clay blush in the shade Captivating. I'm just going to go ahead and use this kind of slanted brush to put it all over. I put it on my nose and my cheekbones. Then I went in with my Anastasia's Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony. Then after I put that on, I just went ahead with my concealer using that same P. Louise, put it all over my eye as a flawless base and blended everything out. Then I'm going in with this Bright Lights palette by Pinky Rose Cosmetics using this bright pink shade called Becky and using a small brush to go ahead and place it on the first part of my eye and from then I'm going to go back into that Bright Lights going in with that purple shade called Pop Rocks and go ahead and add it to the middle part of my eye finally finishing off with the last color named Cloud which is a deep vibrant blue and I kind of went a little bit more with the blue so I thought you know what let me go ahead and fix the other two regions so I spread out the purple and the pink as well and following that same color scheme going back in with that cloud color putting it under my eyes in the top part and then the middle and the last part I put that pink and blended it out with that same purple shade Pop Rocks and placed it in the inner corner just to tie the whole look together. Going in with Suba Beauty's Hyper Color Palette, I'm going straight to their topper sections and using that blue shade Cotton Candy that's glittery and put it on the blue part. This is how it looks like in dark lighting. Then going in to Jeffree Star Cosmetics Bloodlust Palette, I'm taking the shade Pink magic and take the crown and putting those two shades respectively on the purple part of my eye and I went in with the Ofra Cosmetics Nikki Tutorials collab highlighter in shade glazed donut with my fan brush and just brushed it on my cheekbones for that highlighted look then I went ahead in with my lipstick by Mellow Cosmetics in the shade Posh and using my Glamnetic Lashes just went ahead and tied that whole look together. And I'm 
going in with my Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Mascara for bottom lashes and using my Morphe slash Jeffree Star Setting Mist in the scent Starberry to tie all the makeup and make it look great in place. And going ahead in with my Lemonhead LA Glitter in the shade. I don't know what shade it was. Oh, Lady Mercury, there we go. <laughs> And I'm almost done. Last step I'm going to go ahead and do is add some lip gloss by Unicorn Snot in this purple glitter shade. So this is the final look. It just looks like this. It looks super beautiful. It looks even better in person. If you guys check out my Instagram, I'll go ahead and link it down below. It will be Bay Area Crypt. So this lighting is a little bad so i apologize this is what it looks like you know in like artificial lighting now i'm gonna go ahead and turn off this light and hopefully it might look better let me know what you guys think and there we go look at that oh my god that is so freaking beautiful come on tell me that is not like hey how are you doing if you went ahead and like this amazing super cute looking carnival starry-eyed look i don't even know what to call it go ahead and give this video a big fat juicy thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed to the bay area crypt family you can go ahead and do that now i'm gonna go ahead and give you like five seconds one mississippi two mississippi do you hear my neighbors though <gasps> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Gabby. This is Bay Area Crypt. I will see you guys on the next one. As always, stay inside, stay safe, and wash your hands. I will see you guys very soon. Bye!